In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss integration by substitution, or called u substitution. I'm going to find the integral of this function, and the final answer looks like this. Don't run. Hang in there. I'm going to walk you through this step by step. If you look at this problem, you'll find that there's a relationship between x squared plus 1 and 4x. And in fact, if I take the derivative of x squared plus 1, it's kind of like 4x. So the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. And if you watch a couple of these examples, you'll kind of get the hang of this. So now let me do a u substitution. So u is equal to x squared plus 1. The derivative of u is du. So if I take the derivative of x squared, that's 2x, plus the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of any constant is a 0. So now du is equal to 2x times dx. I'm going to solve for dx. I'm going to put it right there. I multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over 2x. And notice on the right-hand side, these 2x's cancel out. Now I have du over 2x is equal to dx, and I'm going to put it right there in a moment. Let me copy this 4x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1 over. Right where this x squared plus 1 is right there, I'm going to put u like that. And where there's dx, I'm going to put du over 2x. Now, if you notice this 2x and this 4x, the x's cancel out. And I'm left with 2 divided by the square root of u du. This looks like something I can actually integrate now. I'm going to move this up and give myself a little bit more space. I'm going to factor out the 2. And this square root of u is equal to u to the 1 half power. So I have 2 times the integral of 1 divided by u to the 1 half power du. I can also write this as 2 times the integral of 1 times u to the negative 1 half power du. Now I'm going to take the antiderivative of this. So I have 2 times 1 times u raised to the negative 1 half power plus 1, like that. I'm adding 1 to the exponent. 2 times 1 is just 2. Negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. And when I take an antiderivative, I take this power, this new power, and divide by that again. So it's divided by 1 half. 2 divided by 1 half, 2 divided by 1 half is 4. Now I have 4 times u to the 1 half power. And if I put the u back in, which is x squared plus 1, plus some constant, don't forget your c, plus a c, that's my answer right there. Let me get rid of everything else, and you'll see, there we go. Now, I'm going to check my answer. You should always check your answer by taking the derivative of this bad boy down here. The first thing you can do is just lob off that C, because the derivative of any constant is nothing. Zero. Now, I use the chain rule. I take the 1 half power and multiply it in front of everything. So, I move it in the front, times everything, and I subtract 1. Now I take the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. 1 half times 4 is 2. The new exponent, or the power of x squared plus 1, is negative 1 half. And I just pull this 2x down. I continue. 2 times 2x is 4x. This is looking up. So now I have 4x times x squared plus 1 to the negative 1 half power. Now I have 4x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1. Anything raised to the 1 half power is the square root of, and since it's a negative, I put it on the denominator. So look at that. So I'm talking about right here. That's the right answer.
And here you go. Here's the complete problem worked out, the integration of it. And remember to share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Links to other videos and examples below. And subscribe. And please like me, please. I don't have any friends either. Please. Please. Please.